Today, we're going to talk a little bit about delay with the Pod Go. I did another video just like this for the Helix. I encourage you to watch that because it'll probably help you to understand what we're doing on the Pod Go even a little bit better. But this video is specific for Pod Go. Let's dig into a little bit of how you can use a single delay block to get multiple delays or a little bit of a gallop or whatever kind of delay setting you want to get. So we got Pod Go on the screen. Let's dig into that. So here we are in Pod Go Edit. I'm just going to go onto an empty block here. I've got all my stuff turned off, so it's just the dry, just the dry sound of the guitar going here. So let's check out how we can get multiple delay sounds at the same time out of a single delay block. So we'll go into my delay category. I've got my mod on here that has all the real effects names for these things like the Echoplex and the Boss DM2, stuff like that. Uh, if you're interested in that, I'll be putting out a video within a day or two of how you can apply these settings to your own pod, go edit and see these things too. But for today, I'm gonna to be messing around with the Boss DM2 with the Adrian mod which is essentially the same model as the Boss DM2, except what Ben Adrian did was allow us to change the size of the Bucket Brigade chips that are inside the delay, which allows us to, to change the fidelity of the repeats and also to get longer delay times out of it. It's pretty cool. So let's just start off with a very basic setting. Let's go for a quarter note delay at 60 beats per minute. And let's turn off the modulation, reduce the spread, increase the headroom. So we just have a very basic quarter note delay here at 60 beats per minute. That should be one repeat per second. So let's hear that. Pod go does not disappoint, right? There's one repeat per second. So, so if you decide to apply my mod that changes what is displayed, I've got these little mnemonics here to remind us which things are stereo and which things are mono. All the delays are stereo. So if we look back at my stereo delay settings, what we'll notice is this scale parameter. Now every delay in PodGo is gonna have a scale. It may not be second from the top, it might be down here, it may be in the middle somewhere, but every delay model on PodGo has a scale parameter. That scale parameter controls the delay time between the left and the right speaker. So essentially, this delay time that we have here, whether I have it set to a quarter note or I change it 500 milliseconds, that's half a second change that to a thousand milliseconds, that's one second. Change it back to a quarter note, still the same thing. But essentially, this note value only controls directly the delay time in the left speaker. Make sure you got your headphones on or some good speakers listening to this in stereo. That controls the setting, the delay setting of the left speaker over here. This scale parameter, no matter where it shows up in this list, this scale parameter controls the delay setting in the right speaker over there. So when we have it set to 100%, we get the same delay out of both speakers. Now, I'm gonna change it to 75%. What is 75% of a quarter note? Do your math. 75% of a quarter note is a dotted eighth note. So now, quarter note, I mentioned, this controls the delay setting in the left speaker. Scale controls the delay setting in the right speaker. So my right speaker is gonna have a dotted eighth delay while my left speaker has a quarter note delay. So let's hear that. There it is, right? We got it going back and forth, it's real good. So that's pretty much all there is to it. So the cool thing about that is that we can now get multiple delay settings without having to use two delay blocks. It does sound a little bit different than stacking delays, but 
we can now have a dotted eighth and a quarter note delay at the same time without using up two delay blocks. So if you're going to be playing in mono, you're not going to be playing in stereo, you probably don't want the delays bouncing around like that. There's a couple of ways to solve that. First of all, if you're playing in mono and you're only plugging in one output from your Pod Go, Pod Go will detect that for you and it'll just do it automatically. So if you just plug in only the left output, unplug the right output, don't put anything in that jack, the delays will not bounce back and forth between them. It will be in mono, so that will all be fine. But if you are using both outputs, but you still don't want it bouncing back and forth, then basically you just need to make sure something mono is after the delay block. So in this case, if I was in this setting and I had my speaker cab on right here, I could move my delay in front of the speaker cab, so it's still after the amp, but the cab is in mono. With the cab in mono, you'll now hear... There, nice mono delays. They don't bounce back and forth between the speakers. But if I bypass the cab, you of course hear that it now is bouncing again. So whatever's after it has to be mono and has to be turned on. Very important. So there it is, pod go. Multiple delays, one delay block. That'll help you save space on your pod go while still being able to have multiple delay settings at the same time, kind of like a stacked delay idea without taking up two blocks. And I hope you all like it. I'll do more videos. Subscribe. If you want to support me and encourage my channel with more content, best thing you can do, head over to my website, check out my store, buy a preset pack if you see anything you like. Otherwise, just share some videos and help bring more people here, and we will all have a good time playing guitar together. See you in the next video.